In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering sequence settings in Premiere Pro. So the sequence is what you set up when you first make a Premiere file, and it's basically you telling Premiere what settings you want for your file, such as frame rate and resolution. Okay, so as you can see, there are quite a lot of presets available to use, and this is because Premiere is designed to work with a lot of camera footage. So as you can see, there are a lot of different camera settings on here, such as RED camera and digital SLR and Canon. Now, I use Premiere Pro to edit my cartoons, so for me personally, these uh, presets aren't as important because I'm just importing cartoon footage. So, I usually use a preset called HDV, and this is a really straightforward but solid preset to use. And I usually uh, produce my cartoons at 720p and 25 frames per second. So, for me, this preset is perfect, HDV, 720, 25. And if you're watching this and you also make cartoon footage but you have slightly different settings like you might produce a 1080p or you might do a slightly different frame rate then it does cover all the common frame rates such as 24, 25 and 30. So if you're watching this these are really good presets to use if you're editing cartoon footage. Okay, so if you're using Premiere Pro to edit footage from a camera it's best to have a good look and see if your camera type is listed. So for example um, if I was using digital SLR footage, I can pick this preset and let's say I'll go for 1080p and 25 and it will give you a more detailed listing and technical information about what the actual sequence setting consists of. And if you've chosen um, a preset which is not quite what you want but it's quite similar, what you can do is you can pick your preset, go to general and it brings up this new menu which has a whole host of different technical settings to change. So I had this editing mode on DSLR and if you click this menu it brings up uh, a great list of different file types. So with this menu you can really fine tune the actual attributes you want for your sequence settings. Alright, so I've just gone into a new Premiere Pro file and I've deliberately picked a sequence setting which does not match my footage. As you can see, it's a standard definition sequence setting. So one thing you can do is if you get your footage, so I've picked um, some cartoon footage I made and it's HD 720 and 25 frames per second. So what you can do to automatically set a new sequence with the exact settings you want for your video, all you have to do is drag your footage down to this icon here which makes a new sequence. And what will happen is it will automatically make a new sequence with your file name and the sequence will have the exact settings which you want. So you can use this technique to automatically create a sequence with the settings you want for your videos. Alright, so I hope you found this tutorial useful and as always, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe.